So Eric Nathaniel here with Lazy Eye Politics. Have I got a treat for you guys today? We got Nikki Haley jumping in line behind all her Republican buddies to repeat the sheep parroted line of the UAW is asking for too much and corporations are king and all y'all need to get on your knees and the corporations. Get that shit as far back there as you can get it. All the way back. Yep. Right. Keep pushing. Yep. If they're turning down a raise like that, um, what does that tell you? Well, I think that's uh, it tells you that when you have the most pro-union president and he touts that he is um, emboldening the unions, this is what you get. You know, here, from what I understand, the union is asking for a 40 percent raise. Um, you know, the companies have come back with a 20 percent raise. I think any of the taxpayers would love to have a 20 percent raise and think that's great. But, you know, the problem is this is going to we're all going to suffer from this. This is going to cost things to go up. And, you know, this is going to last a while. But, you know, when you have a president that's constantly constantly saying, go union, go union, this is what you get. The unions get emboldened and then they start asking for things that, you know, that companies have a tough time doing. And Notice how she says for companies that have a tough time doing, not for companies that can't do, no, for companies that have a tough time paying their employees a living wage. You know, that's all. Now they're saying all the quiet parts out loud across the board. They're not even trying to keep the quiet parts quiet anymore. Why? Because they want the base to start to champion these anti-labor ideas themselves. But let me tell you something, Nikki Haley, 71% of Americans approve of the labor union, 71%. Did you know that we wouldn't even have such thing as weekends if it wasn't for unions? Now they are standard. Weekends just come with the deal. I can't believe I have to explain negotiation tactics to adults. To adults. I thought we all had this stuff figured out as teenagers with our parents. So in that case, let me make an example using teenagers with their parents. A teenager wants to go to... I don't know, this big raging party at their best friend Stacy's house. But they know their parents are gonna say no, because they don't like Stacy. Okay, they don't like Stacy. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna ask to go to the Satan worshiping dance concert dance off on the same night. So you go to your parents, I wanna go to the Satan worshiping dance off competition event. And they're like, no fucking way you're going to that. <laughs> Fine, stupid. Can't go to my Satan worshiping dance off competition event, stupid. Can I at least go to Fucking Stacy's house then and fucking do nothing, stupid. You're like, fine, fine, you can go to Stacy's house, but don't you dare talk about Satan worshiping dance dance off competition events ever again. That's how you negotiate, people. You shoot high, so you land somewhere in the fucking middle, right where you planned on getting all along. So right now the car companies are offering what, 20%? What would have happened if they would have started at 20%? Would the car companies would have been like 20%, you got it. There we go, 20%, it's a fucking deal, baby. No, they would have been like six, 6%. 6 and then all these fucking pundits would be like, dude, this 6% is pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, look at everybody else. They're not getting 6% raises. But the thing is, like I said before, we didn't used to have weekends. And because of the labor union movement, we now have weekends, okay? And why is that? We're not all part of the union. It's because the union sets the bar for everyone else. Because everyone else is like, wait, why do they get all these benefits and we don't? So then everybody is start to give him the same fucking benefits because the union set the bar. <sighs> Nikki Haley, Republican Party, if you guys want to go unalive yourselves on hillsides, uh, mountaintops, however the, the metaphor goes, this is definitely the one I think you should do it on. Yeah, definitely pick this hillside because labor unions are at their highest approval rating since 1965. So please keep going on that mountain to unalive yourself on it. Please. In a video game, do we still have to say that? And I'm Eric Nathaniel with Lazy Eye Politics. That's a lazy eye. I'm not a lazy guy. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that jazz for more. Because if not, the algorithm will treat us like shit. So keep on keeping on, baby.